So back to here. Electricity want to, ESB want to know how much electricity you use. And I said that term is not really accurate. Really what they're talking about is how much energy you're using. So what they use, rather than saying it's so many joules per second, they use this concept of the kilowatt hour. And just to finish it up, we're back to our 40 watt light bulb. Sarah, what did we say? What, what's going on in a 40 watt light bulb? If it's 40 watts in terms of energy conversions. Oh, the, the rate of so what rate is 40 watts? 40, 40 joules per second. In each second, 40 joules of one type of energy, the electrical energy for want of a better term, is being converted to light energy. In fact, it's being converted to something else. It may not be light, a big chunk of it is going to go to heat. In fact, now that I think about it, does the 40 watts refer to what's going in, or does it refer to what's coming out? This is 40 watt light bulb. Yeah, 40 watt, yeah. It refers to what's going in. So what you might have is a light bulb which is very, very inefficient, and most light bulbs are. So if it was 90% inefficient, then you have 40 watts going in, you might only have about 3 or 4 watts of light energy coming out in the first side. Okay? So that was our concept of percentage efficiency, which we had before. Back to the ESB, kilowatt hour. Rather than saying how many watts you use, because you use so much of this stuff, they bring up a new unit called the kilowatt. Remember we had units for mass, we called it the atomic mass unit, we had small units for charge, what were small units for charge? The electron volt. The electron volt. In fact, I'm sorry, that's a small unit of energy, the electron volt. So similarly for this stuff here, they say because you use so much energy, why not call it a kilowatt? But a kilowatt is a unit of what? In fact, we go to the watt. The watt is the unit of? Power. And how do you go from power to energy? Power. ESB wants to know how much power. energy you use. Okay, so energy is what? Uh, P over half m squared. Power is what? The rate of which energy is done, so it's energy divided by time, so therefore energy is power multiplied by time. Right? So the ESP want to know how much energy we use, they use the basic unit of power, which is the watt, and that's too small, so they're going to say it's a kilowatt. So the energy we use is going to be, according to the ESB, is the kilowatt multiplied by, and again, you could say the number of seconds, because that's our basic unit, but they said that's too small, so instead of seconds, they use hours. <coughs> so according to the ESB, the new unit that they made up, and that's completely arbitrary, and not just the ESB, I mean all the electrical supply boards do it, but they say it's the number of thousand watts that you use multiplied by not the number of seconds, but by the, multi by the number of hours that you use it for. And if they say that's your basic unit, they didn't come along and say, we're going to charge you seven cent for every unit of that that you use. Right? So if you have, and then we just give you standard questions, if you've got a washing, a hairdryer, it wouldn't be unusual for a hairdryer to have 2,000 watts. So every time the hairdryer is going, each second, 2,000 joules of electrical energy are going in, and ideally 2,000 joules of heat energy are coming out. Some of it is being converted to others. If you have that going for three hours, so your hair dryer going for three hours, 2,000 watts, what is your total number of units? 2,000 watts multiplied by three hours? Six kilowatt hours. And then they'll come along and say, we're charging you seven cent for each unit. So it's seven cent by six units, so it's 42 cent. So something like that. Obviously, you're not going to have a washing machine on, or you're not going to have a hair dryer on that long, but you could have a washing machine on. If it's got a motor, it's going to have much more, it's going to use up much more electricity than if it is, for instance, just a radio. A radio is just a speaker going in and out. But anything that's got a motor turning in it is going to produce a lot more, it's going to use a lot more energy, and is therefore going to be more expensive. And then these people come along and say, well, actually, we prefer to use this stuff at night time because we've got so much energy to distribute and we'd rather to distribute it evenly over the 24 hours, so to give you an incentive to use it at night time, we make it cheaper at night time. So they might say it's 5 cent at night time, 70 cent during the day. And if they have different tariffs, different rates, depending on whether you're commercial or depending on your residential. But that's all there is to it. The number of kilowatt hours, the number of kilowatts, multiplied by the number of hours, so there are very simple exercises and that sort of stuff that you're going to finish up with.